Hey guys, it's Katie Kicks here, and today I'm going to be doing the romance book tag. Um, I'm not sure who created this tag, but I saw it from Falling Over Books, um, and then I felt that I would do it too, so I'm going to do that. I believe there is 25 uh, questions, um, and I do believe that she had said that she found this tag on Twitter or something, maybe it was a book blog, um, but I found it on Falling Over Books, and so yeah, let's get started. So, uh, question number one, first romance you remember reading. So for me, that would be The Notebook by Nicholas Sparks. Um, I fell in love with Nicholas Sparks from the very beginning. Um, I, so, I watched The Notebook before I read it. Um, I watched it when I, I believe I was 14. Um, I watched it with my neighbor. We were out at, uh, their cabin in BC for the summer, and we became obsessed with that movie. Um, and then I came home, and I found out there was a book for The Notebook. Um, so I read that, and yeah. But I guess the other book that I would remember would be Ginger Pie, um, by... I don't know who's, what the first name is, but it's, it's, um, it's like a grade six-ish book, so I just, I really loved that book because my dog at the time was named Ginger, so it kind of like hit me. <laughs> um, anyway, question two, last romance you read, um, so this answer has changed now, um, so the last romance I read, I actually finished it last night. And that is Playboy Pilot. Um, I have also started not really annotating, but annotating. I'm doing it my own way. Um, so basically, the way that I'm doing it is pink means made me happy, sad, laugh, or cry. Uh, green is when the sex scene starts and then ends. Orange is made me angry. Sorry, my dogs are playing. Lucky Blue, please shush. Um, blue is sparks of memory for me. And yellow is a spelling mistake. Lucky. Yellow is a spelling mistake. Um, so that's what I'm doing. Lucky. Shh. Go play in the living room, please. Yeah, so I'm not really annotating, but I am in my own kind of way, I guess. But this is the last book I read. Five out of five stars. Um, if you haven't read it, I would highly suggest it. I'd, I'd tore through this book. It was amazing. Uh, question three. The, the romance... Oh, sorry. The romance you are most likely to recommend to a newbie. Uh, so for that, I would recommend, hey, shh, Lucky, oh, my dog, Lucky, Lucky, hey, hey, come here, you're fine, Moosey, you guys stop being mooses, please, sorry guys, this is Lucky, he is rambunctious, um, so romance I'm most likely to recommend to a newbie. Um, for that, I would literally pick pretty much almost anything by Audrey Carlin. Um, my favorite series by her is the Trinity series. It's a romantic suspense. Um, and then I also really liked Calendar Girl. And, uh, the Lotus House series. All of which are great. Um... She's coming out with a new series. I think it comes out on November 15th. It's a romance, like a motorcycle gang type series. So that's cool. Um, number five. An underrated romance you wish more people would read. Uh, the Trinity series by Audrey Carlin. Uh, not many people seem to have heard of Audrey Carlin. Um, I think she's an amazing author, so... 
definitely check her out if you haven't. Um, number six, an overrated romance you wish people would stop talking about. Uh, Fight or Flight by Samantha Young. Or The Friend Zone by Abby Jimen Jimenez. Um, I guess it's probably just because I didn't really like either one. Um, I think I rated them both two or three out of five stars. Um, I didn't like them for different reasons, obviously. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't think they're that good. I don't think they deserve hype. So, yeah. Uh, excuse me. Um, uh, number seven, an auto by author. Audrey Carlin, Tara Sumi, Maya Banks, Rochelle Mead, uh, Maya Banks, did I say that already? Christina Lauren, uh, yeah, those ones are just, like, off the top of my head. I'm sure there's, like, a bunch more, but those are my, like, go-tos right away. If they have a book that I don't know, I am buying it. Uh, Marty, please get off of my books. Thank you. Uh, number eight, an author you used to love but have since abandoned. Uh, PC Cast. Um, they wrote the House of Night series. Um, I just haven't read anything since then. Uh, or, uh, yeah. So I guess her, if I had to pick one. Um, number nine, favorite trope. Uh, age gap or controlling rich office men. Or just, like, controlling men. <laughs> I don't know. Seems to be my thing. I like that in books. Uh, number ten. Best book with your favorite trope. Vampire Academy of Rachel Mead or The Breathless Trilogy by Maya Banks. They both have, well, uh, Vampire Academy has an age gap. Forbidden Romance. Uh... Um, yeah. Yeah, so I guess those would be the more common tropes in Vampire Academy. And then Breathless Trilogy, you have the Controlling Office Men times three. Um, yeah. Uh, number 11. A book you didn't like even though it has your favorite trope. Fight or Flight by Samantha Young. I love Hate to Love Relationships, but I hated the way that that one was done. Uh, number 12. Most Hated Trope. I'm not really sure. I guess the, like, fake pregnancy or, like, something like that. I don't know. Uh, number 13. A book you like even though it has your favorite trope. Even though it has a trope you hate. Uh, I don't know because I don't really know what my most hated trope is. So, <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, number 14. Your problematic favorite. Uh, so for that, mine would be After by Anna Todd. I loved that series. Um, yes, the book had its own issues, but... I just, I loved it. I fell into the fantasy, and it was just, it was wonderful. I can't wait for the second movie to come out. Um, and then also Meet Cute by Helena Hunting. Um, I know that everyone's like, oh, it's too serious, and it looks like such, like, a rom com title, and, like, you know, and I just, I loved it. Maybe it's because I went in knowing that it wasn't, like, super cutesy or anything, but I really like that book, and I think it's getting a lot of hate for no reason. Uh, number 15, a book everyone else loved that has you scratching your head. The Professional by, Kress by Cressley Cole. I didn't even make it through that book. And yet everyone is saying, well not everyone, but a lot of people are saying that it's one of their favorite books. And I just, I'm sorry, I, I, I don't get it. <laughs> uh, number 16, your favorite romance booktuber you follow. Uh, Peace Loves Book, Peace Love Books. Falling Over Books, and Haley in Bookland uh, would have to be my three favorites, I think. Uh, number 17. A place or a place or person you go for recommendations or reviews. Falling Over Books and Peace Love Books. Yeah. 
Uh, number 18, a book that has a character that reminds you of yourself. I'm not really sure, honestly. I see, like, little bits of myself in a lot of characters, but none of them, like, full-on remind me of myself. <laughs> uh, number, number 19, Romance Cover You Love, Meet Cute by Helena Hunting. Um, number 20, a book you've reread more than twice. Vampire Academy by Michelle Mead. I have read ten times. I read it every January, roughly. Um, the whole series. Not Bloodlines. Bloodlines I read every, like, three-ish years. Um, and The Breathless Trilogy by Maya Banks. I do believe I have read two or three times. Uh, number 21. Best Romance Audiobooks. I don't like audiobooks, so nothing. Um, number 22 best romance rom-com movie uh i honestly really like the 50 shades of gray movies um i can't read the books anymore um and then the notebook by nicholas sparks uh number 23 favorite heroine mia from calendar girl by audrey carlin and number 24 favorite hero dimitri from vampire academy by rochelle mead and number 25, your all-time favorite romance, would have to be The Breathless Trilogy by Maya Banks or Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead. Shocker. <laughs> but anyway, that is the romance book tag. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys later.